Aaron Boone said maybe your step was a tick down from your start against the Dodgers, but still managed to get through five innings, allowing just two runs. How were you able to do so? Uh, just keeping my aggressive approach. You know, I kind of lost the handle there, uh, walked a few more than I wanted to, uh, but it just battled. You know, I thought Gary did a nice job behind the plate, mixing it up, and uh, the guys were making the plays uh, in the field behind me. You mentioned lost the aggressiveness a little bit. Why do you think that was? Um, I mean, I was trying to be aggressive. I was just having a hard time finding the zone there a little bit, um, you know, and uh, was trying to get in the zone, but then I, I was able to uh, correct it in the, uh, in the fifth inning and get those outs that we needed. Does it prove something to you that even though you don't have your best staff, you can still give them a, a pretty good start? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it was good to see, uh, you know, feeling that way and being able to uh, go out there and give that kind of effort kind of just shows myself what I can accomplish, you know, with, like you said, lesser stuff. Um, so that was uh, that was great. Does it help when you have guys like Gary Sanchez, Aaron Judge, Mike Ford on the other side putting some runs on the board? Absolutely. You know, those guys have been fantastic the last few days, putting a lot of runs on the board. Um, fun to watch, watch those guys hit. It's been, it's been really great. I talked to you the other day about pitching here for the first time since being traded. Were there any added emotions on the mound? It was definitely weird, uh, for sure. Um, you know, a new experience facing the team that I was with for such a long time. Um, was just trying not to think about it and uh, just going out and doing what I do. What have you learned about winning with the Yankees? I think it's, uh, your next win will match your career high and things like that. What it takes. Um, well, these guys make it easier on me when they're scoring these many runs. You know, it's, uh, it's awesome when they're, they're putting runs on the board like that. But uh, me personally, it's just uh, the approach of being aggressive and uh, taking it one pitch at a time, not focusing on the, the end result and uh, going out there and battling. It was five innings. It wasn't as electric or dynamic as his last start. He didn't have that nasty knuckle curve that he displayed against the Dodgers, but there will be some starts where you don't have your A-plus stuff and you have to figure out a way to get through. I think that's what Paxton did today. He only ended up allowing one hit in the game, and I think it was a smart move by Boone with the Yankees leading and a day off tomorrow. Go to the bullpen after five innings. And even though this start was not a la the Dodgers, you've been pointing it out along when he got on that first good run to start August, this is the guy they dream on. Even if it's not the great stuff and it's five walks, you want the guy that can grind out wins. Yeah, for some reason today, he didn't have his command. He was scattering his pitches a lot. Sanchez actually saved him, not only with his bat, the two-run homer, but by throwing out two base runners at second base. But... Major League pitchers talk about this all the time, and David Cohen talked about it during the broadcast. You're not going to have your best stuff every time out there, so figure out a way. And that's what James Paxton did. He got the win in his last six starts. He's now 6-0, and and he definitely is a more versatile pitcher in terms of using all of his stuff and not just being a guy who's only going fastball, cutter, hard slider. It's working in that curveball, too. All right.